My name's Paul and on today's episode, we're going to talk about the difference between barbells and dumbbells. Now, the main difference, Olympic barbell, 7 foot 2 inches long, weighs 20 kilos and you put weight plates on either side. Dumbbells, very small barbells, work in exactly the same way, they're very small, usually a single arm so you're holding one in each arm and generally at a gym, they're fixed weights, so you can't change the weights, you pick up a 20 kilo, it will be a 20 kilo. Now, I suggest using a mix of both of these for particular reasons. The first one is that barbells usually are better for compound movements. Now, that's not to say you can't use dumbbells for compound movements, but barbells generally work better in terms of what you're trying to achieve with compound movements. For example, a squat, place the bar in front of you on your back, and you do it very, very effectively that way. Now, dumbbells, more based for isolation moves. Again, it's not to say you can't use barbells for isolation moves, a compound move being something that uses multiple joints, an isolation move, something that uses only one joint. For example, a barbell curl, a, a bicep curl is an isolation move and that's generally suggested to do with dumbbells because you can get better variation in movements. Uh, so uh, that's what I would suggest, isolation moves, but you can mix the both for a bit of variation. Now, barbell helps to add more muscle size. This is uh, been proven in, uh, on many occasions through different studies because you can generally lift more weight, you can provide a harder contraction and you generally get more muscle size from lifting barbells. Dumbbells assist in correcting uneven muscles. It's very, very useful, especially if you have um, through your everyday life, quite often you get maybe one arm bigger than the other because you do uh, more things with one than the other. You get uh, one arm stronger than the other in many cases for different things. And so dumbbells can correct strength and size. In order to do that, I would say, I would suggest using the same weight on either hand. If your left arm is stronger than your right arm, I don't suggest using more weight on your right arm and less weight on your left arm to try and balance that up. Use the same weight and it will correct itself over time. And finally, variation promotes development. The more we can get our bodies to change and force change, the, the more it will need to adapt and develop, and that will be neural and muscular as well. And lastly, it keeps us interested. I mean, if you were to do dumbbells all day long or barbells all day long, I mean, it's not a great change, just them two, and so I do suggest adding other things into your workout as well, but just that little variation in, in doing one and the other, it adds a little bit of change, it keeps us interested for a little bit longer. But the main question you need to ask is, do they fall in line with your goals? If they don't fall in line with your goals, then don't use them, it's as simple as that really, but they are very, very good tools, I do suggest using both, and generally, they are gonna provide you some benefit and fall in line with your goals in one way or the other. So I do suggest using them. Now, if you like the video, please give it a like. I'd love it if you could subscribe, but if not, I'll see you on the next episode.